Today, I'm going to share with you the best 20 forearm exercises that are guaranteed to give you wider, more vascular forearms. Stronger forearms will lead to a stronger grip, allowing you to increase the weight overall across all exercises. The stronger your grip is, the more you can lift. Let's get straight into it. Number 1. Barbell Reverse Wrist Curl this exercise is especially great for people who engage in activities that need a solid grip, say weightlifting or martial arts. It's an isolation move that involves using a barbell with an overhand grip and curling it upward while the elbows remain still. As a result, it strengthens your forearms and the muscles within the hands, all the while enhancing your flexibility. With reverse wrist curls, a barbell is the better choice than a dumbbell since the latter makes the wrist more susceptible to injury. Number 2. Barbell Palms Down Wrist Curl Over a Bench This exercise is an excellent way to improve grip strength and build the forearm muscles. Other benefits of this movement are building strength and flexibility in the wrists and training the wrist extension to help fight elbow pain brought on by exercise. The barbell palm down wrist curl over a bench is usually performed for high reps, such as 10 to 15 reps per set or more, as part of a grip or arm focused workout. One easy tweak to make the exercise more intense is to slow down the rep timing and then squeeze your forearms for two counts at the top of the movement. If you're more of a dumbbell guy, then you definitely like this next exercise, which is… Number 3. Preacher Hammer Dumbbell Curl Preacher Hammer Dumbbell Curl primarily targets the biceps, with forearms being the secondary muscle targeted. One tip you should keep in mind when doing this exercise is to always have a slight bend in your elbow at the bottom of the movement. This way, there's constant tension through your biceps. You can also use a slower tempo during the lowering part of the movement to help boost tension and mind-muscle connection. The Preacher Hammer Dumbbell Curl is actually a variation of the Hammer Curl, the latter of which I'll be touching on more in a little while. Before that, let's get to know the reverse grip curl using the easy bar. Number 4. Easy Bar Reverse Grip Curl This exercise primarily targets both the biceps and forearms. It's a biceps curl variation where your palms are facing downward. Replacing an underhand grip with an overhand grip allows for more engagement of the forearm and brachialis muscle. Compared to underhand curl variations, the reverse grip version builds forearms more. Using an easy bar is ideal for wrist comfort during exercise. It also activates the biceps better, thus developing your strength and performance. Number 5. Bar Barbell Reverse Curl If you aren't comfortable with an easy bar for reverse curls, then give a barbell a shot. The Barbell Reverse Curl is highly effective for the brachialis, which makes your arms look wider when it's well developed. More importantly, this is also a fantastic forearm exercise because it targets the brachioradialis muscle. Aside from these muscles, reverse curls can also engage the core and upper back, which are important to keep you in position during the exercise. Want something very simple without using any equipment? You'd never go wrong with the forearm push-up. More about this here. Number 6. Forearm Push-Up This multi-joint compound exercise is done with only the use of your body weight as the resistance force. Aside from the obvious fact that it eliminates the use of exercise equipment, it also lowers injury risk since there's pretty much a low amount of resistance involved. The major benefits of forearm push-ups are greater muscle mass and strength in the upper body. Other great pros are significant emphasis on the triceps and the reinforcement of elbow and wrist joints. Number 7. One-Arm Dumbbell Reverse Wrist Curl this exercise primarily targets your forearms alone, without any secondary muscles targeted. It's an isolation movement that builds muscle and strength in the brachioradialis muscle of your forearm. Ideally, go for light to moderate weights as this will ensure you're utilizing a full range of motion during the exercise. In turn, it ensures your muscles are effectively trained. Moreover, weights that are too heavy aren't safe for your wrists. Number 8. Dumbbell Hammer Curl this variation of the biceps curl targets the upper and lower arm muscles. Because it works the biceps or the so-called vanity muscle, people often seek out hammer curls if they want to look muscular. What differs hammer curl from a traditional bicep curl is that it utilizes a neutral grip with palms facing each other during the movement. Speaking of hammer curls, there's another way of doing them, which is through a variation called Number 9. Dumbbell Crossbody Hammer Curl this isolation exercise trains your upper arms and forearms. It's done with the palms facing your body and your thumb on top as if you're a carpenter holding a hammer. 
The change of hand position allows for certain arm muscles to be more engaged than when doing a regular dumbbell curl. With this exercise, you lift your arm across your body as opposed to the straight up and down movement of the standard hammer curl. Number 10, wrist roller. Simple but highly useful, wrist rolls are a great way to warm up or cool down. It's designed to stretch out your forearm extensors and flexors with minimal movement. The wrist roller also helps improve coordination, balance, and grip strength, making it a nice addition to any strength training or fitness routine. When performed regularly, this can boost overall arm strength and flexibility in both the wrists and forearms. Number 11, Cable Hammer Curl. The Cable Hammer Curl is great for increasing the size and strength of the biceps while also developing the forearms. The use of cable instead of free weights allows for constant tension at all angles throughout the whole range of motion as the hands stay in a hammer position. With greater grip strength comes more weight to be lifted for a higher total volume. Next is the Standing Dumbbell Reverse Curl, an isolation movement particularly tailored for those wanting to get aesthetic biceps and an overall balanced physique. Number 12, Dumbbell Standing Reverse Curl. This variation of the standing dumbbell curl uses a reverse grip, which forces the forearms to become involved in some of the workload. Bigger biceps is one benefit of regularly practicing this exercise. And because it activates the brachioradialis muscle in the forearm, in turn, it enhances your grip strength and performance during upper body exercises like pull-ups and deadlifts. If you're new to this exercise or any other reverse curl variations, using lighter weights is a good start. Number 13, Cable Wrist Curl. This movement is used to build your forearm muscles as well as your fingers and wrists. It's typically done using a barbell or dumbbell, but in this case, you'll be using a cable machine. It promotes constant tension, adding more stress throughout the exercise. Whether done using an overhand grip or an underhand, your forearms get a good workout. Number 14, Dumbbell Wrist Curl Over a Bench. The forearms are the primary and only target muscle group in this exercise. It's used to strengthen grip and build forearms. Better grip strength improves your performance in exercises where grip strength plays an essential role, such as the barbell deadlift. To avoid injuring your wrist, lift only light weights. A heavy weight won't make this exercise effective. All these exercises I've shared with you are just the start. After all, lifting and strength training without enough nutrition, especially without enough protein, won't yield good results. This is where protein shakes come in handy, but more about them coming up in a bit. Number 15, Dumbbell One Arm Wrist Curl. For this exercise, you'll need a dumbbell and a flat bench, ideally one that's without a rack. The single dumbbell wrist curl is among the most effective exercises for the forearms since it ensures that each arm gets equal work. When you train each of your forearms separately, it reduces the risk of developing muscle imbalances. Plus, this exercise helps correct existing muscular imbalances, thus improving your physique symmetry. Number 16, Olympic Barbell Hammer Curl. This time you will need a hammer curl bar, otherwise known as a tricep bar, which has handles that let you hold the bar easily using a neutral grip. It makes the exercise more efficient and comfortable compared to two separate dumbbells. The brachioradialis muscle is greatly worked when a neutral grip is used. Thus, to build your forearms, it's recommended to use such a grip. Another forearm exercise you should include in your training program is the number 17, Dumbbell Reverse Wrist Curl Over a Bench. This exercise builds mass in your forearms and boosts your grip strength. It's recommended to perform a dumbbell reverse wrist curl over the bench toward the end of your workout. Otherwise, it can lead to muscle fatigue early on and reduce the quality of your lifting performance. Number 18, Dumbbell Seated Neutral Wrist Curl. Wrist curls can also be performed in a seated position. It's commonly preferred by people with knee problems that make it hard for them to assume a kneeling position. In this exercise, you'll be using one dumbbell on each hand using a neutral grip or palms facing in as you sit on the end of a flat bench. Too comfortable with a seated wrist curl? Then you should absolutely consider performing number 19, Dumbbell Reverse Bicep Curl. This exercise is another excellent variation of reverse curls where you're gripping the dumbbells palms down. The grip position allows for specific arm muscles, aka brachialis, to be targeted. Both biceps and the forearms are considered the primary muscle groups of dumbbell reverse bicep curls. Number 20, Weighted Standing Curl. The weighted standing curl uses plates, incredibly versatile training equipment, albeit often overlooked. When doing weighted plate curls, the biceps get the maximum recruitment followed by the brachialis 
talus and then the forearms. In this case, you'll be using a single plate which activates the brachioradialis or the muscle located in the forearm. So what do you think of those exercises? Anything familiar? How is your experience with them? Let me know your thoughts below. If you're still watching this video, then here's my favorite exercise I promised you to further work on strengthening your forearms. Number 21, fingertip push-up. The finger push-up is just like its forearm counterpart, but is harder to do. To perform this, start with a plank position, but with only your fingers and toes in contact with the floor. Slowly, bend at your elbows to lower your body off the floor. Now, push against the floor through your fingertips. Finally, return to the original plank position. Training your forearm muscles is just a tiny piece of the puzzle. An exercise in general is only one of the first two steps. Even after doing those exercises, you still lack something. Nutrition is of paramount importance too when it comes to growing your muscles. And guess what's the one food you should never forsake? You can find out the answer in this next video.